Okay, today I'm going to use a simple language to introduce the concept of regression. I think understanding the concept of regression is very important before you learn how to use those equations. Okay, let's look at an example. So assume you want to study the apartment prices in a city and want to see what is the relationship between the price and the area of the apartment. What can you do? Yeah, you can survey all the apartment and just find out the relationship. But probably you cannot do that. Too many apartments. And maybe you just cannot find some of the data. So what you're going to do is to do sampling. Instead of doing the whole population, you try to sample some data. For example, you find that oh, for 500 square feet, the price is 30k. For 1000 square feet, the price is 40k. For 1500, maybe it's 60k. And one apartment with 2200, the price is 80k. And for 2500, it is 90k. So from this sample point, what conclusion can you draw? Well, you can say that, well, maybe in the simplest way, there's no relationship between the price and the area of the apartment. You may be correct. So you will just do the average of all these data points and say that, okay, all the apartment in this city is 60K, regardless of the area of the apartment. You are not wrong, but maybe you are inaccurate. Because from this now, you will see that, well, there is some relationship between the price and the area. So what you can do probably is try to find a straight line to fit all these points. This is very simple. Then you just draw a line and try to fit that. Well, however, you can actually draw many line. This is also a line. And this line actually is better fit than this horizontal red line, right? So which line should we pick? Mathematically, we'll say that try to pick a line so that it, it is closest to all of the points. This is called a least square fit. It means that the sum of the distance between the sample point to this nine square is the smallest. And we have already done a so-called linear regression. When we assume the price is independent of the area, we assume the price is at the average of 60k. And the deviation of this sampling point to this nine is just the sampling error. So the sampling error of this point will be this much. Sampling error from this point will be this much. Right? And similarly for other points. But once we have done the linear regression, we actually were able to explain most of this so-called error by this new theory, by saying that the price is dependent on the area using this straight line. So for example, for this point, now we are able to explain this part of deviation by the linear regression. But there is still a small discrepancy from this blue line to the sampling point, which cannot be explained. And this is the so-called error. So in the next the lecture, we will try to use this explain value and also the error, try to see how good is the fitting of this curve and how strong is the relationship between the dependence variable and the independence variable.